Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So, we are assembling a massive amount of butterflies. <laughs> so this is a kit that is going out for someone's graduation. They didn't order the cap, they just wanted the butterflies to add to their cap. Their colors are black, gold, and dark green. So I thought what would be nice was just to have a mix of a pale green, so like a mint green, with two shades of gold. So we have the metallic gold, and then we have the glitter gold. And I think with that combination, it will go with any any shade of green that goes with the gown, because I didn't want it to overpower. I really wanted it to be light and pretty and just like sparkle. All right, so the I would say one of the main tips of this is to have, um, different butterfly types and different sizes in different color combinations. So we kept it simple. It's three different types of butterflies. So you can see here's group one, group two, group three. Um, and I did four colors, but technically two colors, four different types of paper. I, I sh yeah, I should say that. It's two colors in four different types of paper and in various sizes. So that way you have a very cohesive look but it's not gonna look so um, exact, okay? So this is how I do it. I always separate it by butterfly type because um, it's kind of hard to tell which goes with what, right? But when we're in this family, we know it always starts out with one of these. Then the next layer is going to be a little bit bigger. And I see that came off a little bit. So I think it might be this one. <sighs> Then a gr maybe a purple, I mean a gold. That one looks really pretty. I know it's like with the lights, it's kind of hard to see, but this is just so delicate looking. I love it. Um, let's see if this goes. And I really don't know. Some of them are two layers, some are four. I, um, I just go with it. <laughs> so we'll see how this works out. Um, let's see, we're almost done here. All right, so two layers, three layers. We can always switch it up with, we could do something like this. Actually, that one, oh, you know what? That one looks kind of kind of different. We could do something like that. So you can see, I mean, we have different patterns here. That one's not going to work because we still need this. We could do gold on gold, green on green, and then a mix. So this is done. This is three layers. These two are three layers. These are two layers. So you can see already it's going to be, um, oh, actually these are so similar though. Let's switch this up. Let's do this and this. So we don't have too many gold on gold. There we go. All right. So I like that one. Let's switch. Oh wait, there's, oh, oh no, this is a different one. Okay. So this is a different set. This one, I think this one we did many layers because look, we have just four of them, but look at how many we have. So, all right, let's get going. Let's see this one and, okay, that works, that works, that works. Oh wait, there's a gold one back here. Okay, so we've got our first layer. All right, so here's green, uh, maybe this one. Okay, and then this one, I know, it's so crazy. It's kind of hard to tell because <laughs> there's so many dang butterflies, but um, all right, I love this. I, you know, sometimes it's like, it's so subtle, but I just love it. It's like the, the mint green on the glitter green, it just gives it that extra, this one's so pretty. And then maybe this gold back here. Um, all right, so we have this one. Maybe we'll do this one. And then, so here's another four layer one. And then we've got these two with maybe this one. And again, at the end, we can always switch it up a little bit. All right, there we go. It's looking so pretty already. All right, this one is my least favorite butterfly. I like it because it is very intricate and delicate looking,
but the thing is such a pain in the butt. Um, so I had to take a knife and you know finish finish out this top layer. The rest of the layers are fine. So it's just the top layer. And of course on this one, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know why I did eight of these. That's the problem. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get this going. Um, and then in the end, we'll glue them together. That one's two, there we go. Um, these are just so pretty. I can't wait till she sees it. First of all, I'm surprising her because she wanted to keep the cost down. She went with less butterflies. So I'm giving her more butterflies as a surprise because it's her graduation. I don't know her um, and she like I said she tried to keep the cost down so she went with two layers some of them three I don't think I have any oh no I do I have a few that are two layered um, but she's hopefully she'll be pleasantly surprised um, all right let's see we've got this one here this one needs another one no that's too small here we go we're almost done, almost there. Nope, 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 this one's too big. Okay, I've got, I've got a few more layers back here. Okay, here we go. Maybe this one. And there's something about with cardstock, when you do the same color, but in different materials, like this is gold metallic on gold glitter. I mean, look at that, that shimmers so beautifully. All right, so here's this one. This one is two layers. We need another one, but I don't think it goes. Here we go. That one's too small. Okay, and then this one. All right. I don't think this is right, but it doesn't matter. We've got all our butterflies. So the thing that I like to do is I like to do the first, the top layer. I'm gonna glue down the top layer and then just put it down. We're gonna glue the top layer on all of these and what will happen is the glue will dry and keep the wings propped open. Then we'll do the next, the next layer. So the other thing that I like to use is, you know, one of these wedge um, spatula thingies. So line them all up in the middle and then you just take this and you um, you just fold it. Okay, so we'll do that on all of them and then we'll glue that first layer. So you're gonna want your glue gun. This is gonna be so pretty with so many layers. Um, and she's gonna be so surprised. She ordered 10 to 12 butterflies. <laughs> and two to three layers. So this is gonna be so beautiful on her cap. And um, the other thing is, I did this a long time ago, so I did not recreate this design. The only thing that I did is, cause I do a lot of these graduation caps. Um, I did not use the offset because the first time I did this, offset was not available in design space so these are not evenly um does not have a, like an even offset so i don't think it matters i i did my own you know my daughter's graduation cap like this and it's just on the cap from a distance no one's going to be able to tell it's all about the materials you use and the whole overall look so I think now with the offset, it'll be so much easier. Okay, we're almost done. And then we'll start gluing. Um, I mean, we've kind of talked about the paper. I love having a mix of glitter, metallic, and regular cardstock. There's just sort of room for everything. And it really, when you have that mix of like the plain mint, I thought the mint by itself, it kind of looked dull. I was ready to pull it because I just, I didn't love the shade, but um, with everything together, it really helps to bring the, 
the glory to the other colors. I think it all plays a purpose here. And when you're layering, I mean, that's the whole thing is you want to, sometimes it's nice to have the glitter on glitter or the metallic on glitter, and then the next one you don't, you know? So it's just a balance of everything and a mix of everything. All right, two more, and then we're gonna start gluing. The gluing part, like I said, is really easy. You wanna keep it propped open and you want to let it dry. So it's almost like a, um, a like a little placeholder, the glue when it dries. So it's like a foam dot, if you will. Okay, so I'll just take this one because it's the last one I'm holding. So here are my three layers, right? So I'm only working on this half right now. I'm gonna put down this first dot and then I'm just gonna let it sit. Then I'm gonna do the next one. Oh, this is only two layers. This one's four layers. So I'm gonna, you know, just kind of bend it to give it some space. And then I don't want it so big, but I want it to stay propped open. So you see, it's gonna dry like that. And then this one will dry and be more open. And you'll see the second layer when we get back to it. The two layers, I mean, you can really keep it really open if you wanted to. Can you see how much glue? It's like, um, it's a little dot. I can't, I'm trying to think of some sort of size reference. Um, just a little bit smaller than a Tic Tac. How about that? It's been a while since I've had a Tic Tac, so. Maybe about half of a Tic Tac. Um, this one still has a little piece in it. Okay, there. And because the glue is clear, it'll be fine. And then also with them all stacked and everything, you're not gonna notice the glue. This one still has a, a piece in it too. Okay, there we go. Okay, just a few more and then we'll be done with the first round. And then we'll come back and get the second. Okay, so the first round is done. Now I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna do actually the, you can either do the same side and do this layer, or you can do this side. So let's do this side right now. So see, it's just gonna have, it's gonna look really nice. gonna put it aside. This one's gonna be done after this one. And this one I'll do another layer just so that you can see what that looks like. 
So this layer is done. We're going to put it in between these two layers. And then once it dries and then you do this layer, a lot of times on this side, I won't do it as big, but you can always fold it back up and then prop it open. It, these are really easy to work with. Now I've messed up my system. And they don't even need to be perfectly lined up. They're just with the layers and the colors on the cap. It's just going to look so beautiful. No one, everything's just going to come together. So on this one, I'm going to do two layers at one time. Because we have so many butterflies, it's going to be fine. Um, what happens is it's just going to look like a cluster and it, they're not, they're going to look different and it's not going to look so, um, so the same. So I find that, you know, that's actually better for some to be really open, some to be kind of crooked. It really just makes it look put together in a weird way, even though they're not all perfect. All right, so I'm starting to do multiple, but this one's going to be done after this because this is a two layer. So I'm going to put the two layers up, up here. So you can see this side has it and this side doesn't yet. So it's really flat on this side. So the glue really does help um, give it some depth and dimension. Okay. So now it's going to stay like this. All right, where are my other, that's it on the two. Okay. So on these two, you can see these two are already glued. So we're going to glue this side. It's going to look like that. And then while you're here, get one of your, you know, tools just to get rid of the glue strings while you're working on it. Or you could do it all at the end. But it needs to be done. <laughs> all right, so this side is completely done. I'm going to do this side. Now on the metallic, if you get fingerprints or you get glue on there, if you use rubbing alcohol with um, just a cotton ball or a Q-tip, you'll be able to get all the smudges out. Okay, so this one's done. So these are done up here. Let me show you what they look like. So you can see like on her graduation cap, she's going to layer them like this. And so you can see together, they look amazing. Oops, I've got glue strings everywhere. Okay, so this one, these two are already done. We're gonna do this side. And some you're going to want more closed, you know, like I said, it's really the variety 
that's gonna make this look amazing. So let me start propping these up so you can see. All right, let's see, this one's all done on this side. Let's start working on this side. This one I'm gonna do that whole side at once. Oh, I've got glue everywhere. Okay. So look at how pretty this one is. So you can see our cluster is growing and looking gorgeous. And so this one, I don't think that you can see it, but the glitter is coming up a little bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my glue pens. Give me a second. Where are all my glue pens? Um, I have one. Give me a second. This is what happens when I'm sitting down. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> um... Darn! Okay, so what I would do is I would dab a little bit of glue right here to hold down that strip. The, the glitter part is coming up a little bit. Oh, here it is. I have it. I knew I had it somewhere. Okay. So I put a little bit of glue there. I'm just going to hold it down a little bit. Okay, perfect. So I need to do this side. Do that in a bit. So I'm folding out this side so we can get some glue in here. And this one's done too. So if you put a little spring in it, you can actually get it to flutter, I think. I should think about that for a cake topper. Okay, so that one's done. Let's do this side. And while they look delicate, you can see I'm sort of just folding them out. They're really easy to work with. So, all right, so I have a few more to do. I'm just gonna finish that up and then mail this out. So anyway, let me know what you wanna see, if this was helpful. Oh, the other thing that I always get asked is the dimensions of the actual cap. So there are several sizes. So what you wanna do is, let's pretend this is my cap. What you wanna do is you just wanna measure this, recreate the square in design space. So this is, well, I know this sheet is 12 by 12. Then what you wanna do is you wanna measure the center circle. So the ones that I've been doing, they have been 0.75 inches, but again, you need to measure it. Um, then what I would do is when you, um, you bring in the circle, grab the circle and the square and hit a line center. So that puts the circle smack dab in the middle, you slice it out. <clears throat> You want to save that circle though because you want to mail it or use it because that's going to go on top of the little button on the cap to kind of camouflage, you know, for it to match everything else. And then you have your cap. So that is all I have for you. I will see you next time. Thank you.